नमस्ते माय नेम इज डॉक्टर चेताली सामंत आई एम एन आयुर्वेदिक फिजिशियन अ डाइट एंड लाइफस्टाइल एक्सपर्ट एंड अ योगा एक्सपर्ट आई प्रैक्टिस इन टू लोकेशंस इन बैंगलोर वन इज आई शायर केर मल्लेश्वरम एंड अनादर इज अर्धन वेलनेस अल्सो रोड there is so much going on when we discuss about phytotherapy uh, especially when it comes to pcos there are so many herbs which are being promoted as beneficial in the management of pcos in the management of the massive hormonal imbalance of pcos and one of them is chestberry chestberry also known as vitex the latin name or the scientific name of that plant is agnus castus uh, is on the forefront of being recommended as one of the most powerful herbs in the management of pcos Vitex is a traditional herb which has been used in Europe as a home remedy for oligomenorrhea that is scanty menstruation or uh, you know amenorrhea that is uh, missing periods or delayed periods and irregular periods and also in the treatment of infertility over many millennia in the uh, Europe uh, you know as a continent so it's fairly new here in India and uh, many people are recommending vitex to be included as a essential herb for managing hormonal imbalance in PCOS yes there are many studies which do suggest that you know vitex is a very powerful and a very useful herb for women who are suffering from PCOS the major effect of vitex or uh, chestberry is found on the pituitary gland which is one of the major uh, or we call it the master gland which controls all of the endocrine systems and if you see the hormonal imbalance of PCOS it's a imbalance at many levels imbalance of many endocrine glands endocrine glands are glands which directly release their hormones into our blood stream thyroid for example pancreas for example and of course are the ovaries so these glands are largely benefited in terms of balancing their hormones when we include vitex vitex helps the pituitary gland not only to regulate the functions of a major hormone like prolactin and uh, most of the recommendation for use of vitex are seen in women who suffer from hyperprolactinemia or high levels of prolactin which uh, again lead to absence of ovulation and hence infertility or missing periods so that is one of the recommendation many women with pcos also may have uh, high levels of prolactin if you get your blood check for levels of prolactin you may be able to know whether you have normal levels of prolactin or high levels of prolactin in that scenario vitex is a very useful herb to use uh, either side by side uh, besides the allopathy treatment whatever you might be taking or ayurvedic treatment and as a general supplement for improving the functions of pituitary gland also it is extremely beneficial for managing the irregular periods in pcos it helps to improve menstrual regularity and also it helps to boost fertility by boosting ovulation there are several do's and don'ts regarding chestberry or uh, vitex and yes you do need to consult your doctor to know whether it's safe enough for you to include vitex in your routine or you should leave it off altogether also how long you should take and uh, when you should give break to taking chestberry in what dosage you to, you should take depends on your individual issues health issues that you might be facing because of pcos but yes it's a very beneficial herb another thing is it's extremely beneficial if you are experiencing pms or premenstrual syndrome because of pcos that is breast pain or feeling irritable feeling having bloating general uh, you know dysmenorrhea or painful periods while being on pcos or even without PCOS. pcos vitex is one of the most recommended supplements for that it does help to relieve the you know uh, uterine pain while uh, having periods and the really pesky and really bothersome mastalgia or breast pain which precedes before menses so it's definitely a most recommended herb for premenstrual syndrome yet another recommendation i would like to give for uh, people who are already on vitex is to use it during the follicular phase of your cycle that is the first 15 days of your menses beginning from day 1 of your periods to day 15 which is the time uh, approximately the time during which ovulation takes place so you can include vitex safely during that time of the period and you see it is definitely a herb which is recommended in the management of pcos